Hello, it's Slowfish here. Welcome to another speed build. This time I'm building my high school build and I've separated into two parts. So this is part one um, and it goes through kind of half of the build. I do start on the interior as well in this one. I do the exterior and then kind of half of the interior-ish. And then on part two I will do the rest of the interior and the rest of or the most of kind of the external stuff as well um, or the whatever you call it landscaping I guess I do some of it in this one as well but anyway high school build here we go <laughs> um, I didn't kind of use it for any like inspiration for this one I like I didn't look it up on Pinterest or any place like that I kind of focused on high school films that I've seen in the past but not a specific one if that makes sense and I also kind of wanted it to look more like school a uh, more traditional school so it kind of looks a little bit like my primary school build but not at the same time obviously it's a lot bigger as well so I focused on kind of adding these different elements to it as well that I might find useful in a high school but might not necessarily be needed in a high school build for the sims like I've got a gym area and then I've got like an event room or a conference room or whatever you'd call it where I place the debate podium and then I've also I'm also adding a soccer field at the back but these are all areas that aren't really needed but you might want in the build it's also got two long hallways going through the build the first floor and the second floor which will have a lot of lockers and everything so you can get your kind of school area screenshots there as well it is kind of focused on different areas like that where you could take a lot of screenshots for your sims but also obviously for the playing part of it but anyway I wanted it to look nice and I wanted it to have areas you might want just for like storytelling purposes as well as just playing um, it is classed as a library build as well the same as my primary school so it will have an other sims like come visit it as well I personally made like clubs I have two teams in my family at the minute so each of them got their own club to hang out at this place because you can place a well you can specify which place they hang out at as clubs so I did that I also added like obviously some actions of what the clubs do so I did like make do homework and I think I put research as a thing and then just kind of socialize with your own club uh, so you can do that with the club feature from get together and that's really you kind of want to do it for this build in a way because otherwise you'll get a lot of random sims showing up I think there's a limit of how many sims visit a lot so if you've got a couple of clubs that come here then you won't get so many random ones even though I made this lot a teen hangout it doesn't quite work the way I would want it to because you still get your occasional adults well a lot of adults and then also occasionally children visiting this a lot so I don't think the trait works as well as it should but maybe it's because you need a certain amount of teens in your world for it to kind of function if that makes sense I think I've got plenty of teens in my world but I don't I don't think I've got that many like I managed to get two clubs of eight sims together but I think that's about it so I would advise you to populate your world if you don't have a lot of teens anyway to populate your world with teens just to get them to show up at this place but yeah about this build a little bit then quite a traditional looking school building uh, I've used a lot of packs in this as I always do but most of them I think Discover University is definitely the most important ones in terms of windows and doors that I use in this build obviously as well for the whole research things that you sims might use but other than that I don't know I mean I use some machino windows at the bottom of this build kind of behind them alcoves you can't really see it till you're inside the classroom if that makes sense but they're not exactly necessary like you could replace those with any two wide kind of open windows if you don't have the Moschino pack I only just recently got it myself so there's certain things that you could potentially replace in terms of exterior of this build but I would advise you to have at least Discover University 
because I really don't know what this build would look like without it, if that makes sense. But in general, if you're not sure about which packs a build uses, you can always look it up on the gallery. Uh, there's these little icons and then you can also click the icon and show items used for, an, for a build. So in that way you can see what items this building has from that pack. So, you know, because a lot of times I will use just one item from a pack, like it might be a clutter item, and that's not really important. So you shouldn't really worry about not being able to download this build if there's a, like a little bit of clutter placed somewhere. But when it's to do with like building items, windows, chimneys, like this roof decorations or stuff like that, I would advise you to make sure you have items that look necessary in terms of that. So any build by items, well build items would be, I don't know, reasonable to make sure you have. But especially windows, I think. I don't think even the wallpapers are that important. I mean, I don't know what you'd get in replacement of certain ones, but you know, it's, I think it's worth to have a look if you really want to build uh, and you're not sure about the whole pack things. I wouldn't say this build is overly complicated in terms of that type of stuff. I really do use most of Discover University for the build items, so and I think that kind of that's kind of the reason I went to high school anyway, is because I don't know because with universities, I just feel like I need a step now before that, if that makes sense. I do like kind of the idea that you can go to university obviously but I do wish we had a school pack maybe we'll get one one day hopefully <laughs> but if we do anyway if we ever do get a school pack I will definitely make sure to update my school lots because I have a feeling I will use these a lot I play kind of like a legacy family it's not like a strict challenge or anything but I have used the same family since the beginning of The Sims 4 so I'm still, I think I'm a generation 30 now or something, but I'm still using like the, that family. So I go through a lot of like kids and teens and whatever. So obviously a school pack is going to be really important in terms of that. Same as I think parenthood. I mean, that's really a, a really successful pack in terms of playing with generations like that. I really like that one as well. Now I didn't actually place any of the, what's it called? You know the project, the school projects that you seem to get, but there is areas in this build where you could drag one out of your inventory and do some school projects. Like there's a library here and there's also obviously outside if you do like the rocket school project or whatever. So there's definitely places to do projects with your sims friends and whatever. But yeah, as always with my builds, I focus heavily on the exterior and maybe not so much on the interior. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Uh, I do prefer kind of making sure my exterior is just how I like it. Whereas I don't feel like the interior is my strong point. I don't particularly enjoy decorating a build, if that makes sense. I do sometimes, it depends. But I do kind of stick to a lot of same things like habitually but I do like kind of community loss in that sense that I don't I'm not so strict on what I want in my builds I guess because my sims won't constantly be there but yeah um, other than that exterior definitely I do focus on a lot of the areas here in this build that I you might want in a high school so I wouldn't say they're quite necessary for a library lot or for a school anyway but I wanted a lot of areas where you could like just for storytelling purposes and everything so it's got like this big gym area it's, I wouldn't say it's that big actually I did kind of make it smaller than I thought I were going to first off but you know it is like a gym for your sims to play basketball or you know woohoo in the closet oh sorry mess around in the closet <laughs> and it also got obviously the changing rooms for boys and girls and some showers you know stuff like that and I also build a, or I make like a soccer field outside. There's some seating area, same as in the gym. So that I just use like the base game stairs to kind of make a pretend seating area, which I really like. But, you know, you might want to use those at some point when you're playing, you know, just for storytelling purposes. Maybe you seem to just have like a soccer match or something like that. I don't know what they're called, but... 
and even in the gym, I really wanted a gym, maybe not for the basketball, but I thought definitely for the locker rooms or like the changing rooms. Also, if you ever want to have like a prom or something like that, I thought a high school bill is going to need a gym to have one in, if that makes sense. Now, this gym is not decorated for prom. I think there's a lot of items that came with seasons, like banners and everything, like like kind of cheap looking decor items that you could place around in that that gym and just make it like a prom event so that's why I kind of wanted one I was quite struggling to know what kind of to make it you know in terms of connecting it to the exterior of the rest of the build I don't know if I succeeded or not but I don't know I don't know it's just like a block isn't it but it's I made it like a rounded roof it feels like it's got a bit more of an art deco look to it it doesn't really like in style in terms of style suit the rest of the build but it kind of connects to it nicely I think nicer than I thought it would in terms of connecting a gym to something that looks so traditional because gyms can be quite blocky can't they and quite well ugly I guess um, a lot of gyms will just be like a rectangular building and that's it no roof no nothing uh, so I think this one's all right I'm quite happy with how it turned out but it's quite small like I said so Hopefully not too small for your prom event. But yeah, as, as I may, might have already said, this build is a library. So I'm not entirely sure of how you could host a like party at this place. Like in terms of, you know, using the phone and, and have a party. But I mean, I'm sure this build would work as a temporary museum or anything like that anyway. Because it's got, a, it's got everything in it, if that makes sense. So it should be alright in terms of that. So yeah, I don't focus too much on the exterior in this part one build. I do some of it, like this front area, as as the kind of main focus of it, because it's I don't know, it will, it will kind of the more complicated part of this build. Like after I designed or pre-planned this exterior, I had to kind of re-plan it around the front because of the raising the terrain and the steps that I wanted to come down uh, to the kind of main path it was quite complicated, it doesn't look complicated but it was originally when I just built it on a flat surface after I raised it up the whole gym basement area kind of messed up sometimes it can do that when you do that um, so there's a lot of little things that you're not, you know sometimes you don't notice as you're doing things and then it just ruins the whole thing so it's always good to plan especially for large builds like this and it and even the football or soccer field uh, you know the seating area I've used the foundation to make it kind of two steps if that makes sense and I wanted really wanted to use the pillar foundation thing you know what they call the beams but once I placed that for some reason it brought all the gym areas basement like it just made this grass earth layer there and I don't know why I'm sure that's just a bug but it were a bit of a shame because I would have really wanted to have those pillars under that seating area but yeah for some reason it just brought the grass back in onto the exposed basement so if you ever have something like that issues with your builds um, it might be using the pillars because they are not connected they shouldn't happen you know what I mean they're not connected whatsoever so why did it happen I don't know I'm sure it's a bug, they might fix it at some point. Um, but yeah, other than that, this exterior doesn't really have a lot to it. I have the soccer field and I have this big tree that I also will place some swings around in part two, I think. But other than that, yeah, it's not got a lot going on outside. I don't know whether high schools normally do have a lot of things outside. Like, I, I was kind of not even sure about placing any swings. Uh, because I didn't want a playground, obviously, because it's not like a primary school, but I needed something. And obviously, as teens can use the swings anyway. It would have been nice if we, if we would have just like a single slot swing, though, you know, like with ropes. So you could place it with Moo under a tree, and it would just look like a sim is kind of on a floating swing, if that makes sense. Like a swing without a frame around it. It would be nice if we had something like that. But yeah, there's a few things I've changed around in this build, but not too much. I mean, the exterior was kind of the hardest bit because I wanted this massive entrance to it. I don't know whether high schools normally have that. I don't know, but 
I really wanted to focus on the entrance and make it quite photogenic if that makes sense. I did place it on this 64 lot as well so it definitely needs this size of a lot because of the width of the build itself it kind of takes up all the space. You have to either place it on in this lot in Brindleton Bay like I have or then I think there's space in Windenburg and then I never remember what the world is called that came with that get famous but but that one's a bit more like a celebrity time type of high-end area I guess so it might not suit that but if you prefer it there you know that's fine I do like it in this particular lot because it's got this drive area to it I placed my primary school in Willow Creek and that lot also has this little drive coming through the front of it which is really nice when you think about your children might be dropped off or the school buses might drive where or people that drive kids to school might just drop them off like on a drive like that so I really thought that drive suited this this type of build I don't know whether I normally like them on on like if, if it's a residential I find the drive to be a bit over the top <laughs> maybe that's because I don't really build builds that are so fancy <laughs> that need drives like that but yeah it really suits something like this uh, like a school build um, and hopefully hopefully we'll get a school pack at some point I really that's really what I kind of want next I think well I say that I really want farming as well but <laughs> I, I think a school pack would be really useful and really necessary to a lot of people because it's generational and it's it's to do with a sims kind of life it feels like it's more important than a farming pack because the farming thing might be only be suitable for certain type of sims but a school pack would be suitable for all because they all grow up they all go to school so yeah maybe we'll get one at some point maybe not so close to discover university but maybe but yeah if we do I will update these lots I don't know whether I said it already because I already recorded this once and yeah something went up so it didn't quite work the way I wanted so <laughs> I had to start over but it's probably why I'm losing my voice already still got part two to do today well that'd be fun I'm still fighting a lot with the exterior on this lot here even though I kind of will redo it in the part two Um, I might just speed through these bits in, a, in the final editing of it well, other than that, in this part one, I will kind of do half of the interior as well. Uh, but not all of it, because there's a lot to it. There's a lot of classrooms. And I'll go through those as I do them as well, to make it kind of easier. I did try to fit a lot of classrooms, kind of skill-based, but I do place a lot of the research computers in as well. Just for you, seems to do something. And some like normal computers, but not too many because Sims like to use those a lot. So, yeah, but I put a lot of the research computer stuff and then certain skill objects as well. But this lot, even though it's kind of a high school, I think it could be alright to be used as just a community college type of thing for your adult Sims, if that's what you prefer. Because you've got like a handiness classroom and you've got a cooking classroom. And you've also got like a veterinary slash science slash analytics classroom and a research classroom and a art classroom and then just like a normal classroom. So there's plenty of stuff to do for all sims if that makes sense. So it could be a potential hangout for certain clubs if, you, if that's what you want. I've personally only used it as a high school so far. But I do have teenagers in my household at the minute, so that's probably why. It's been actually really fun playing with it. I I did kind of spend a few well over the week, and I've been playtesting it quite heavily, trying different things, and I have not found too many problems actually. I don't think I've found any, really. Just certain things that I forgot about, if that makes sense. But I've had really so much fun playing this. I made each of my teen a club that had a specific hangout lot and which were this lot and they showed up here and I also made their club outfits to be like a school uniform type of outfit so they kind of look like they go to private school 
and all the like activities they do is well I, I put research out the main activity because there's so many different skills but if you wanted your sims to learn a specific one obviously you could just put that activity there and then also obviously socializing with everyone and stuff like that so it's been a lot of fun actually playtesting it and actually see how it works in game so I really hope that a lot of people will enjoy this build and not just me because I don't know it's a fun build it's been fun to play it and I can't wait to kind of get back to, into it and especially as the generations of my legacy family goes on to just kind of try it, try it out and use it a lot of times if that makes sense now in my build uh, I've got two clubs because I've got two teams however I don't play with the world aging so hopefully as my teenagers age up those clubs will exist still and they still hang out as this place so next time when I'll get a teen up to that age I will make a third club and do the same thing basically so hopefully eventually they, it'll have a lot of clubs hanging out at this place now, I'm not actually sure how many uh, clubs can hang out at one place at a time but hopefully it's more than two <laughs> hopefully it's more than three I don't know uh, well I know that at least two will hang out but that is kind of my sims club and then that extra one because one of my teens yesterday actually aged up to a young adult so I went to check this build again playtesting and that club's actually or his old club is actually still hanging out at this place so that's that's good news that's kind of what I want but yeah like I said I'm not sure how many clubs you could actually make it it would be great if you could have as many clubs as you want spawn at a place but I don't think that's the case I'm sure there's a limit but I don't know how many I know when I've been playing it I've had two clubs and eight sims per club and there they have still been other sims hanging out at this place so maybe it's like I don't know 20 sim 30 sim limit or something I'm not sure because I know when I enter this lot without kind of starting the club there is a lot more kind of random sims come to this lot whereas with the clubs you get the clubs you get kind of less of the random ones instead uh, but as it's a library you'll also get your librarian <laughs> so you'll always have a librarian in this build which is I guess not too bad but yeah once you were in a flirty mood so that was a bit awkward <laughs> also this cafeteria area that I've got here it's got that new bar from Discover University with all the foods but you have to hire like in the primary school you have to hire a sim to actually work there to make it active they only stay for a few hours as well I don't know how many sim hours but I'd kind of only activate it if you actually use it but I did place a fridge as well so it's not too bad like there's food on the lot even if you don't want to hire anyone at the bar if that makes sense but yeah always kind of hire them last off or when you think you'll need them because they only stay for about six hours or so and sometimes if I hire them at like the beginning they wouldn't be there by the time my sim wanted food so <laughs> but obviously I had to test the routine and everything so it went too bad in that sense but there's fridges and actually there is that cooking classroom as well so there's definitely enough place for your sims to eat and drink and everything that you might need so yeah I wouldn't worry about that too much if you don't want to spend that hundred whatever to hire someone now this build has a lot of bathrooms as well um, there's there's two on the top floor and there's two on the main floor there's none in the between floor but I think there's you know there's quick route into either place I think if your seems really bursting it might take a while but it's not too bad actually like the stairs are pretty central and the bathrooms are kind of located near the stairs and that's really what you want in a large build like this but yeah there's also some in this this basement slash uh, changing rooms area and shower room area the changing rooms actually I did have one side for the girls and one side for the boys but I did add doors to the bathrooms from both sides the doors from the girls sides will only allow girls through and the doors from the boys side will only allow boys through so your sims would kind of get lost in between if that makes sense I did want to have the bathrooms accessible by both genders at, at all points because I always struggle when I put gender doors to remember which bathroom is which it's easier I guess if you change colour but before we had the kind of toilet stalls that weren't possible so 
I just kind of kept doing it because I just prefer it. I don't want to have to worry about what, where I click for my sim to go to a bathroom. I just want it to work the first time, if that makes sense. So that's why I've made them accessible by both genders. If you would prefer something different in your game, you can always obviously change the doors to specific genders. I mean, I've had I have plenty of bathrooms. Even on the first floor and top floor, there's two two bathrooms. So you could put one each gender if that's what you like. Colour wise other than that it's not really, they're not that different. I mean it's all throughout the whole build really. I use the same colours. Not really out of what, what I planned to do but I just kind of preferred it as I went along with it. I thought I might change it at some point like I want something different, something colourful, something I don't know. But I just thought it really suited it as a high school build to kind of be a bit more dull if that makes sense a bit more like a public building i wouldn't say it's like nice or pretty looking i didn't try to make the walls kind of pretty in that sense i kind of focus more on the exterior <laughs> uh, in that sense i guess that like the exterior is a lot more photogenic than interior but i don't know because your classroom still kind of look the part if that makes sense but yeah now kind of decorating the different classrooms i start off with this science classroom at first I place kind of I place a shower around because I just think that's what you need in a science classroom emergency showers in case there's a fire but I also use these veterinary tables now before I started building this I actually play tested a lot of these objects on my home lot which were fine because I thought oh that's gonna work then isn't it but as I find out when actually play testing this build as a public building None of my sims could actually use the veterinary tables, even though they look really nice as these kind of chemistry set tables. They weren't actually functional, which was a shame, so I do kind of leave two in there, but after playtesting, you'll see in the screenshots, I will have added two analytic tables and then also that science career table. Now with this other classroom, I didn't know kind of what to make this room. It feels more like a office room or like an, I don't know, like a meeting room. I did put a debate podium or it's like a podium but you can have speeches at it so it's not the debate one and that's kind of what I thought this classroom would be all about charisma and stuff like that so you seem to sit in a group or in pairs and they do like projects and they host like projects what you call them I don't know like speeches or whatever but not necessarily an actual debate it's not really overly complicated like as an idea for a classroom this isn't really it's got not got much to it but you also obviously have space to have for your sims to do homework if that's what you want as well so that's what the desks are for that's what everything's for for this build as well for the blackboard I've used that I think it's from I think it's from cats and dogs back I'm not entirely sure it might be from get to work but it's like a sign you can actually place like signs on it that makes sense I didn't want to use the get together one with the I don't know the one I used for the primary build because I thought that were kind of it was all right as it were but I thought I wanted something different for high school build I guess but if we ever get a school pack like I said I will update this lot and it's blackboards and everything you know if I can so I will have to do that I think if we do get a pack like that in the future anyway but yeah then I went to this upstairs area simply because I found this classroom to be quite complicated and I weren't sure where to place it first off I didn't want to have everything downstairs that were kind of weird and not classroomy I wanted to kind of spread them out so that's why I placed this cooking classroom up on the second floor I don't know whether a lot of people have cooking classrooms I know in my school I don't know whether you'd compare it to a high school if more like the secondary school had like home economics or whatever it was called so I kind of based the look of it and the layout of it off that like what I've had in my past obviously a bit more kind of nicer stuff around not so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> not so plain but I liked using these industrial ones actually just to add a bit more color to this build I guess I didn't want everything to be kind of white and gray so I use these a lot actually these industrial counters a lot throughout a build like I will use them in certain classrooms that I decorate as well as this kitchen one so yeah it's a cooking classroom it's only got two fridges and then a few cooking stations obviously I think there's plenty of room for a bigger club to actually be on this in this room to do their cooking skills up uh, I think I add bins I don't add them now but I will add bins later you'd probably 
might see them in the screenshots in the part two of this speed build. Yeah, I'm not forgetting about bins. <laughs> But other than that, yeah, it's cooking classroom. It's quite high quality one. Like you could actually use this room for like any type of cooking classrooms for a cooking club as well. It's not necessarily so high schooly as most of the other classrooms are making this build. So yeah, I would kind of you could use it for a cooking skill classroom for your like culinary sims or anything. There's a lot to it actually to place all these little objects. They're not actually needed though but I did want to decorate it quite well to look like it were a bit more classroom, classroomy I guess. Uh, place some books around, place some you know just a lot of things <laughs> just around that you might want to use. And some chairs as well. I put some bar stools. I mean they're not connected to anything but I thought if it's a classroom they're obviously going to take notes as well as cook so they're going to need a chair and some like notebooks and whatever. The teacher's desk is kind of out of way a bit but still, you know, as a whole cooking room, it is quite big. I don't know whether you need to have like more than, oh, you, you just need like five sims because it's got five cooking stations. But I'm sure you could have more sims working in that classroom if you wanted to. Maybe anyway. I do also actually, I don't know whether... I've noticed or whether you've noticed I place these clocks in each classroom there's this I don't know what pack I'm sure it will get to work again it looks just like the clocks we used to have on our school walls so I place those around in the the whole kind of build as well and yeah because I made this cooking classroom as well obviously I didn't want to forget about the fire safety of this build in general a lot of times I don't like to use fire alarms because I find the kind of chance of dying quite exciting and fires aren't really that dangerous in Sim 4 I don't think so but yeah with the cooking classroom I did not really want to risk it because if you're here with a club hang out and you're not even focusing on the cooking classroom and some sim goes up there and causes a fire that's that's not, not very nice for you is it <laughs> you don't want anything distracting so yeah, it's definitely got a fire alarm in there. And right, then then moving on to this other classroom. This is a classroom I kind of wanted to look a bit sciencey, but I focused on the robotics. I did kind of experiment first off to place a lot more of the robotic stations, but they were just too big. And I thought, do I really need them? Like, do I really need like four or five of them? I didn't think I did. So I placed two of them. So they're not really like that robotic here, I guess. Place two, but I also added these computers, the research computers. They're not normal ones, they're the Discovery University research computers. I think as your sim skill on research gets higher, you can research specific skills through them as well. So it will be useful for robotics as well as other things, if that's what you want. But other than that, it's not really like a massive bit of science classroom. It's quite small as well if you compare to the kitchen one, but yeah, I really liked it. I think this one's one of my favourite classrooms in this build, personally, because, I don't know, it's just cluttered, it's messy, and it looks like a classroom, even with all the computers, and I have to let my dog out. <laughs> Well, yeah, this is kind of my favourite one, isn't it? Because, I don't know, it just looks like a classroom. Again, with this build, I will use a lot of the same colours. Like, I use this white brick and then just the kind of same brick I've got on the exterior. I really like this white brick. I think it came with a patch. It's a really nice kind of... It's got a really nice texture to it and it's got some shadows as well hitting the brick. So, I weren't sure about actually using it throughout the whole build, but I do end up using it in a lot of the... Well most of the rooms in this build because it just really suits the high school in general and I didn't want the high school to be as colourful as my primary school because it's not for children really so um, I don't know it just suited it really well right and then moving on to this classroom this is uh, my so called handiness classroom I guess I don't know whether you'd you'd have any of these in your schools or high schools in general or secondary schools I guess but we sure did <laughs> it weren't as nice looking as this one but um, still so it's where your sims kind of learns about woodworking and actually in real life also a bit of like electronics and stuff like that it's like <laughs> you know maybe even welding but obviously it seems we only got this handiness table for that 
purpose. I kind of thought about joining up the robotics with this one at first, but the classrooms aren't really that big in this build, so there definitely wasn't enough space. So this is just for the handiness skill. So you could potentially have a handiness club hanging out at this place. But I really thought, as handiness and woodworking isn't really like... Woodworking isn't really a skill on its own, is it? It's kind of paired with the handiness one. I really do wish we had more kind of things that would give handiness in terms of... I don't know, as a skill. Like, I feel like a lot of the core skills get a bit forgotten by the more in-depth skills, if that makes sense. I find it to be the same case with, like, logic skill. Um, we only have a chess table that gives logic. A lot of things benefit from, like, being focused, but there's not a lot that actually gives logic skills other than the chess table. Which is a shame, because why? You know, surely there should be something that gives more logic. But maybe that's, maybe that's something that you could think of if you ever do a high school or a school pack <laughs> to have some of the core skills be like a core of a lot of more, I don't know, in-depth skills like robotics and rocket science. I don't know. But anyway, Hand in the Classroom is actually one of my favourite ones in this build as well as the one previously. Just because it kind of just looks the part and it's... I don't know, it's just really nice. I use a lot of clutter items in there as well. It just looks like a place, a nice place to be <laughs> for your sims to work on their handiness. And yeah, it is quite small, but your sims can root all the tables, so it's not too bad. You know, it's, it's enough space for everything. And then for this last decorated area of this part, we have this so-called event room. I wanted it to be a little bit fancy, a little bit like a meeting room. Possibly a place where you could have like assemblies, like a principal can hold meetings or even like anything like that. And it's got the debate podium so your sims can debate their, against their friends, which is a really fun thing to do. I really enjoy doing that. As I haven't played the like u university pack yet, I wasn't sure what to expect with the debate podium, but I really thought it was quite a lot of fun. Especially like the animations your sims do as well when debating and that you can actually have a debate about all different things so that's quite fun it's not just like debate and there's one option and that's it you can actually do different things but yeah I had a lot of like little details here like you might want in a kind of more formal room of a school other than that it's not really like a pretty room but it's supposed to be kind of the more formal place of the whole build um, so yeah I actually thought about putting just a simple podium in there but I didn't because I already put that in one of the classrooms so it is kind of like the debate room slash event room slash I don't know formal room of this build but yeah as this build's coming to an end now there won't be any screenshots in this part however part two will be up tomorrow uh, so have a look out for that one and in the end of that one I will also add all the screenshots as well as a gallery link so if you enjoyed watching this speed build, give it a thumbs up and look out for part 2 and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!